Hey, so what's going on guys? Metal with Drug Reviews and welcome back to another video. So if you've been following the channel, you will know that I just got my iPhone 13 Pro Max. If you're interested, check out that unboxing. I'll leave it in the description below. But anyways, we are here today to actually check out Pitaka cases. So a big thanks to Pitaka for sending out these cases for me to unbox, review and give my unbiased opinion. So this is not a paid video by any means. So I'm allowed to actually uh, give you my honest opinion and honest thoughts about each of these cases so i'll be breaking these cases up into three separate videos so that i can go in depth with each one but uh for today i'm going to be focusing on the new mac easy case pro so when it comes to the mac easy case pro it's technically pitaka's tough case um, usually they make like thin uh, aramid fiber cases and they specialize in making aramid fiber cases in general and all of the three cases i have are also made from aramid fiber so you're not going to be missing out anything except when it comes to protection because this offers military standard grade drop protection and also MagSafe compatibility so you are getting the best of both worlds so if you haven't subscribed to this channel do hit that subscribe button and also enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest content which i post and without further ado let's get right into the unboxing and review of the pitaka mac easy case pro for the iphone 13 pro max all right so on the top you can see pitaka new mac easy case pro see a glimpse of how the case looks like this for the 13 pro max 6.7 inches and this is military standard 810g durable aramid fiber so this is made with genuine aramid fiber not the knockoffs like what i reviewed with banks so we also have magsafe compatible because we do have magsafe magnets inbuilt into the case which is a honestly a great feature especially for those people who are using the MagSafe chargers at the MagSafe Duo or even the MagSafe Puck. So we'll be testing out MagSafe later on at the end of the video. So do stay tuned for that. All right, we also have a reinforced frame because this is Pitaka's tough case. So on the side, we have alternative tech life with Pitaka branding. Okay, on the back, we get more features of this case. You can see three times military standard great drop protection. So aerospace great finish compatible with MagSafe chargers you can pause this and read it for yourself all right so that's about it for the packaging so the packaging is honestly pretty pretty nice pretty premium so you have to slide the sleeve out you can see inside there there's a very nice uh, matte black box with pitaka branding so opening the lid you can actually see instructions on how to remove this case but this case is pretty straightforward because it's just like any hybrid case i would call this a hybrid case because it's actually made from two different materials which i'll be showing you guys so you can see very nice presentation you can see the case right on top here so we will take the case out for a moment and look what else we have inside the box all right so let me grab all the stuff out all right so first things first we do have a thank you card on every purchase so thank you card we have their product catalog which consists of the yeah, Apple Watch cases, the yeah, Samsung cases, the yeah, AirPods cases. And they have a lot of stuff, to be honest. A lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. So I'm interested in their car mounts as well, but they didn't send me that. So probably I will try to ask them to send me some so I can review it for you guys. All right, we have two of these stickers. Actually, this is actually like a foam pad. So in case your phone and the case have a sort of a gap, you can actually add this pad to prevent the phone from like jiggling around inside the case but honestly from my experience no there's no need to actually put this pad they used to give this many years back as well so they started giving this in the packaging i'm not sure why they have to do this with the mac easy case pro but um no the fit and finish is actually pretty pretty awesome all right so let's put all of that to the side let's focus on the case itself so the case you can see right here very nice carbon fiber material aramid fiber so this is very very nice and smooth to the touch i'm not sure whether the light is picking that up but you can see like the a bit of the magnet here I'm not sure whether you can see it in the light but this is after a couple of days of usage all right we have pitaka branding on the bottom we have a very nice cutout for the cameras and lay on the table design as well so you're going to scratch up those uh, three massive camera lenses so on the right side we have the power button very nice and tactile i'll be showing you guys later on on the bottom we have very precise cutouts of course these are symmetrical cutouts so if you are the ocd type you would like to follow like the exact dimensions then maybe i guess you should look for other cases but i don't think that's a deal breaker for me i think i do like a symmetrical look 
and which is personal preference. Alright, so on the left side, we get the mute and ring toggle cutout. It's not too big, it's not too small, it's just the right size. And we have two very tactile volume up and down buttons. On top basically nothing. On the inside is where all the magic happens. So you can see Pitaka branding on the inside. Right here we have the MagSafe uh, magnets. So Pitaka did not skimp out on the proper design when it comes to MagSafe because they actually added in the bottom alignment magnet. So I've seen many other brands that actually claim to be MagSafe compatible but they actually eliminate the bottom magnet which is honestly something really really bad because you're using like the MagSafe uh, power bank or MagSafe wallet or MagSafe accessory that you can attach to the back. This is actually how it aligns to the phone itself. So this is exact mirror of the phone magnets. And in my opinion, by them following this design, they actually follow the regulations of a MagSafe case. And uh, I, I appreciate them for that because this is attention to detail. And on top of that, they actually just didn't just slap on a magnet. They actually coated this with very nice microfiber lining, very similar to Apple's official leather case. So you've seen uh, my 12 Pro Max leather cases. It's exactly the same material very nice and it protects the glass back of your device so yes this case does cost 299 ringgit or 59.99 usd but the attention to detail is just really really awesome okay let's take a look at the insides and see how this case is constructed you can see those air pockets at the side all around let me give you a nice close-up look so installing the phone in the case is really simple you just go in button side first like all the other cases which i do so button side first and all you need to do is just push in the other two ends and you hear the snap and your case is basically installed on the phone so as well you can see the cutouts are really precise so if you look closely you can see the cutouts are really really awesome and spot on from the bottom see right there on the side and the buttons are super tactile let me give you a close-up sound super super tactile and i've never had a single issue with the buttons at all and you can see the overall look of the case is really nice of course yes there are some drawbacks with this case i will have to mention later on but overall i can say that this case is a major goal because of how well this case is built so if you take a close look at the side you can see that actually two materials fuse together and you might be wondering well is there like a rough edge but actually it is totally smooth that's how good the finishing is on this case so not only it fits well the finishing of this case the build of this case is really really awesome and no sharp edges so this is actually a very nice smooth edge so when you do hold it in your hand it doesn't like dig into your palms so honestly i think holding this is better than holding the iphone itself uh, even though it might be personal preference but honestly even this case is like following the design of the iPhone but it feels so much more comfortable in the hand of course I have to mention the cons as well so the cons is that even though this is a nice matte finish it does pick up oil stains uh, pretty easily uh, let me give you a close look at my Pitaka Air case for the iPhone 12 Pro you can see how it picked up some very very minor scratches as well as oil stains so this is going to be an example of how this case is probably going to look like after like months of usage but of course i did not like really baby this case but if you do baby it then it's not going to look as bad as this yes i put it to the test and i can say that it looks pretty good i think it can be cleaned out with some alcohol wipes or something you can actually wipe it off and there won't be any oil marks but i didn't do that because i wanted to show you guys how it will actually look like if you did not clean it so this case is going to be roughly the same so this is actually a smooth material even though they are like you can see the weaves in the case but feels pretty smooth so it's a good thing so another thing which i don't like about this case is even though the buttons are tactile the slits in the buttons actually causes dust to go in so which means you do have to do some cleaning of your phone once in a while especially if you put your phone in the pocket a lot it does pick up some dust in between 
vehicles cut out so that's something the user has to be responsible for and has to clean their phone often another thing that i noticed is also that this even though the fit and finish is really good it's just probably nitpicking but the bottom portion is slightly loose ever so slightly loose i'm not sure why but this is honestly not a deal breaker at all uh, i've seen worse this is actually has a very nice uh, fit and finish already so there's a very minor concern uh, if this was slightly tighter that would have been better but in my usage i didn't have any dust problems or any scratching issues even with uh, slightly loose top and bottom ends the sides are fine the sides have no problems at all it's just the top and the bottom all right so can i recommend the mac easy case pro yes at 59.99 or around 290 odd ringgit i definitely can recommend this case if you're looking for a tough case with uh, premium materials definitely you can check this out I'll leave the links in the description below if you do want to pick this up for yourself. So ever since I started using the 12 Pro Air case, I've been a big fan of Pitaka cases. You won't be able to experience how good a case is unless you actually use the case. That's the reason why I actually separated the Pitaka cases into three separate videos instead of just cramping it into one like other reviewers. I like to actually separate it out so that I can test them individually for at least three to five days so I can give you my honest thoughts about it. So definitely I can recommend this case if you're looking for a case made with premium materials but not sacrificing drop protection as well as MagSafe. So before I end this video, I do have to test out MagSafe. So I got my MagSafe uh, charger right here. So my MagSafe puck right here. So I'm gonna be showing you how MagSafe works. So because there are magnets here, all you need to do is just put it very near the MagSafe and you can see. All right, so let me show you the MagSafe animation again. can see right here the MagSafe animation so which means that it's working with no issues and this holds up really well you can see I'm actually swinging the phone pretty harsh but the phone is not coming off at all so this is actually stronger than the official Apple case not sure whether I'm saying that right but uh this magnet is actually really really good really really strong and I have no problems charging my phone the past couple of days which I've been using it every night just slap it on and it just works all right so this concludes my video hope you guys like this video if you did like the video do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one and i'll see you guys in the next video